Okay, let's talk about um, Volvo Penta uh, EFI motors, GXI, um, 4.3, 5 liter, 5.7, 8.1. Um, they all generally run this fuel system on them. Uh, and, uh, and we see this pump get noisy very often, hear this pump get noisy very often. Um, before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out CanadaWideMarine.com for everything uh, that you need for your boat, including the fuel filter that we're going to change here today. So back to Volvo fuel pumps. They get noisy. They get noisy for one reason mainly. It's because they're overworking. Um, so there's actually two pumps in this assembly, uh, a low pressure pump and a high pressure pump. If it stays noisy for a long time, it's, uh, it's going to fail. So, uh, because it's working too hard. Generally, the reason it's working too hard is a restriction somewhere in the suction side of the system. The output side is controlled by uh, the pressure regulator. Um, so it's, uh, uh, it, it can't really be restricted in causing too much load on your pump. It's the, uh, it's the suction side, which is, if you can see past my leg here, uh, goes all the way down this fuel line into the fuel tank and includes the pickup in the fuel tank and the anti-siphon valve, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But the first thing to do is uh, your water separating fuel filter here. We change these every year, uh, regardless of how many hours are on the motor. Uh, we change them every year so that we can monitor the quality of the fuel that's going through the, the customer's boats. Um, we like to see if they're getting water in their fuel tank, um, if they're using good quality fuel, or if it's going stale, if they're not using it very often. So um, to do these, pretty simple. Uh, I use a little drain bucket that I put underneath uh, to catch any fuel that's going to dribble out. Oil filter wrench, a little tricky. It's a little tight getting the, the wrench up in there. And then we just undo that. This pump is not noisy, by the way. Uh, it was last year. Uh, and uh, we had a problem with the, uh, the anti-siphon valve. Uh, so we, uh, we fixed that up. And uh, we'll have a look at the anti-siphon valve here in a minute. So the first thing I do when I get the filter off is uh, tip it upside down into the bucket and uh, let everything drain out of it so I can see what's in there. Now, now you're not going to be able to see very well what's in the bottom of this. Um, but I'm just going to have a quick inspection and I can see that there's, uh, there's no water in there. A um, little bit of dirt, um, most likely just from the outside, the housing falling into the bucket. So uh, that's uh, looking pretty good there. To put our uh, new filter on, we're using a Sierra brand filter. These are, this Sierra is an aftermarket company. Um, we use these a lot. They're very good quality. We've never had a failure with one. Um, never had any problems with them. They do stop the water um, and they stop a lot of water. So uh, we use the Sierra. Uh, we, we use the OEM ones quite often as well. Um, sometimes they can be difficult to get so uh, we keep the Sierra on the shelf. A little bit of grease on the gasket surface. Any grease will do if it's compatible with gasoline. If the seal's compatible with gasoline, it's compatible with grease. Um, work that in. And then the other thing that we do is uh, we prime the fuel filter with clean gasoline. 
Electric fuel pumps don't like to suck very much. They don't build up a vacuum in air. Uh, so uh, we like to prime the fuel filter uh, with, uh, with clean gas before we install it. This way the pump doesn't have to run dry very long while it's trying to suck fuel out of the tank. And if you have a noisy fuel pump and you haven't changed your filter in a while, um, priming it is definitely helpful. Okay, put that down, put the lid back on that. So we've greased our gasket, we've primed the filter. The other thing I do is I just run my finger over the, the gasket surface and make sure it's nice and clean under there and make sure that the old gasket is on the old filter. Uh, if it stays stuck up on there and uh, you put this one on top of the old gasket, you're going to have a nasty fuel leak and probably a fire. These are kind of hard to get your fingers around on the Volvos. Um, don't want to super over tighten them because they're hard to get to. And that's that for changing your fuel filter. So back to uh, a noisy fuel pump. Um, if you haven't changed your fuel filter, uh, in a long time, change it. It should be changed every year and that way you can monitor your fuel for water and contaminants and things like that. If your filter is clean and you still have a noisy fuel pump, you need to, we, this is our program with the Volvo fuel pumps. We replace this whole fuel line back to the tank um, in case there's any problems internal in the flexible line. We just replace it. Uh, it's cheap and easy. You got to take the other end off at the fuel tank anyway to check your anti-siphon valve and your pickup. We're going to go over to the bench and have a look at them and I'll show you what you're looking at there. Um, I also uh, take this fitting out here um, and make sure that there's no contamination in there that's, uh, that's restricting the flow. Noisy fuel pump is restricted flow to the pump usually. Uh, so you want to check all possible spots, the whole system all the way back into the tank for any restriction, uh, including the fitting on the side of the, uh, the pump here. So let's uh, go over to the bench and we'll have a quick look at uh, the fuel pump, uh, the fuel tank pickup and uh, anti-siphon valve and show you what uh, you're looking for in them. And we're back. Um, we just changed the uh, fuel filter. Uh, on the Volvo Penta fuel pump and uh, we were talking about um, noisy fuel pumps. So let's have a bit of a look at uh, the pickup and um, anti-siphon valve that I mentioned in the boat. We'll just turn the camera down here, have a bit of a look at what we got. So this is your f a typical fuel tank pickup. This is what's inside your fuel tank. This part here is where the, uh, the fuel hose connects on. So from here, you've got a rubber fuel hose that connect, goes all the way up to your uh, fuel pump assembly, um, as I just showed you in the boat. This bit here is your anti-siphon valve. And this is the pickup, the fitting that is screwed into the tank this, uh, this way. So this is in the top of the tank. You can access this usually, depending on how your boat's laid out, uh, usually through a, a hatch in the floor. Um, sometimes you can get to it right in the engine room. Um, so to get the pickup to the whole pickup assembly out, you unscrew this, fit, this bit here from your tank and pull the whole assembly out. So what we're looking for are restrictions. That's what makes your Volvo fuel pump noisy. As you can see on the end of this, we'll just, just zoom in a little bit here. It's got a, a screen on the, the end of it here. Uh, it can get blocked up with uh, crud and corrosion and uh, who knows what from dirty jerry cans and uh, the inside of your fuel tank. 
The other place that uh, you can um, get a blockage is it's a pretty coarse screen, so a bunch of fine stuff can work its way up and actually start to build up just in this area here where the, uh, on the hose barb where this fitting connects. So to check for that, you need to unscrew your uh, anti-siphon valve out of there and blow back through the, the inlet. You can't blow back through your anti-siphon valve, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, so once you've got your anti-siphon valve off, you can blow back down through there and see if any stuff uh, blows out from that and make sure that this fitting here is free and not restricted. And then next, the most common spot for, that I see for a restriction in your fuel system is the anti-siphon valve itself. Um, it looks just like a regular old hose barb, except that it has a little check valve, very light spring, lightweight spring check valve in there. So the purpose of this is that if your fuel line gets a hole in it, wears, a, wears through from abrasion or falls off in the engine room, it doesn't just siphon fuel out of your tank and fill your bilge up with gasoline. It takes a little bit of vacuum to lift this, seat, this valve off the seat and start your fuel flow, but, it, uh, but a regular um, siphon out of your fuel hose, if you had a hole in your fuel hose, will not allow fuel to pass that. So what happens when you get a, a restriction or a blockage, what we see often is a buildup of stuff all around the valve here, all around that check valve, so that even when the check valve opens up, it can't flow through and get past it to go to the filter. And this eventually just gets blocked right up and uh, causes the restriction that gives you a noisy fuel pump on your Volvo Penta. Um, so that's the most common spot, but you're, you have to get to your, let's zoom back out again, you have to get to your fuel tank fitting to get your anti-siphon valve off while you're there take the extra five minutes and unscrew this fitting out of your tank and check your pickup um, and this tube as well to make sure it flows free um, because uh, I have seen them build up with big crud here and not all pickups have a screen on the bottom to stop it. So if you don't have the screen on the bottom, it'll pick up all the big pieces of leaves and who knows what out of the bottom of your fuel tank. Um, and get blocked up there or your anti-siphon valve. So the boat we were just looking at, he had, a, um, he had a noisy fuel pump start issue start last year just on occasion, uh, and he had a, a buildup of, um, um, I don't even know what I'd call it, just sludge uh, in the backside of, of the anti-siphon valve. Um, so... As I said in the boat, what we do when we get a noisy fuel pump uh, on a Volvo, <clears throat> we pull the pickup out, we pull the anti-siphon valve out, and we also replace the rubber fuel line between here and, uh, and the pump to, uh, to make sure that there's just no problems with that as well. Generally, by the time they get noisy, the fuel line's getting old anyway. It's hard to get it off of here. It's easier to cut it, that sort of thing. So, so there you go. Hopefully that will uh, help you solve the problem of your, um, uh, of your noisy fuel pump uh, on your Volvo Penta stern drive, uh, your fuel injected Volvo Penta GXI, uh, uh, GSI, I think, um, a bunch of those Gs. Um, if it helps, if you found this informative, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and uh, thanks again for watching.